Hi, I'm Tassel Monopoly, Cosmetic Chemist and Trainee here at the Institute of Personal Care Science. And today I'm going to show you how to make some really beautiful but basic coloured emulsions using coloured oils. Now let me show you what we're going to be making. So these are what I'm going to be making it today. So I'm going to be using the Bioli range of the coloured vegetable oils. Now you would have seen I have used these in quite a few videos recently, but that's because I am absolutely obsessed with them. Not only are they a beautiful colour and can provide beautiful coloured emulsions, but they also are sustainable. They're an upcycled ingredient, which I absolutely love because there's no waste. So let me show you how to put the emulsion together. Okay, so in this video, I'm just going to be showing you one variant of one of these colored emulsions. But then at the end, I'm going to talk you through uh, the different inputs and obviously the color impact they have on emulsions. So I'm making a natural emulsion here because it is a natural vegetable oil. So to build my emulsion, I am going to be using xanthan gum. So I'm just going to add this into my glycerin to slurry. Okay, so once that's a nice, beautiful gel, we're gonna pop this on heat. And while that's on heat, I'm gonna to put together my oil face. So I've got some Olive M1000. This is a naturally derived non-ionic emulsifier. To this, I'm gonna add a bit of stearic acid just for some better stability and viscosity. Stearic acid is also naturally derived. Now I am gonna be adding some capillic capric triglycerides. This is a nice medium feeling lipid. And the oil I'm going to use from this range is the Bioli Ruby Red. Now I'm gonna be using 1% of this. So this is going to give it that really nice hot pink color that I did show you at the start. Now, obviously, depending on input, you can go for a darker, deeper color of pink or red, or you can use less and go for a nice pale pink like the example I showed you earlier. Now, I'm gonna pop this one on heat as well. Okay, once you've got a nice smooth homogenous emulsion, we're gonna remove that from heat and allow it to cool. Okay, once that's cooled, I'm gonna go in and add my preservative. So I'm using just Geoguide ECT. This is a naturally derived material. And I'm also gonna add in some tocopherol because I've used a natural plant or vegetable oil. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in and just check adjust my pH. Now, full viscosity won't be achieved until the next day, so I'm gonna cover and leave this and then come back and show you tomorrow. Okay, so this is what my emulsion turned out the next day. So it's a nice, beautiful viscosity. So as you can see, the colored oils don't leave any transfer onto the skin. So this here was 1% of the Ruby Red. I'd have to say this is probably the more pigmented oil at a lower percentage. This here is also Ruby Red, but this was used at 0.1%. So as you can see here, a little bit of Ruby Red goes a long way. 0.1 will give you this beautiful uh, baby pink and then 1% will give you more of like a hot pink emulsion. Now I went ahead and made a few examples of the other colors. So this one here is the amber orange. So you have to use a little bit more of this to get a more pigmented color, but this here is 1%. So this is giving a nice, beautiful light orange. And then at 5%, a very nice dark orange, almost looks like an, an actual orange itself. Now lastly, I used the carnelian orange. Now this is giving more of a yellowy orange color rather than the full orange like the uh, amber. 
And then again, 1% of this has created this beautiful light pale yellow color. And then 5% has created this beautiful yellow orange color. So these oils are a great addition to your emulsions if you wanna add color without using the color additives or pigments. They bring a nice, beautiful, natural color. And as I said before, they are sustainable and they are also upcycled ingredients, which I absolutely love. Well, there you go. That's how easy it is to create colored emulsions using beautiful, natural vegetable oils. If you enjoyed today's video, please give it a thumbs up. Leave any questions in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe to receive notification on all our videos. Happy formulating.